especially in this environment, there's a lot of opportunities to make money, you know, in trading or whatever you're going to do. Hey, it's Walter here, and you're at the Think Profit Podcast, where we're going to help you develop a rock solid trading confidence and avoid the potentially endless cycle of system switching. Right, Hugh? That's right. We're going to help you develop a wealth mindset, develop a trading strategy that fits your core personality, and help you overcome the obstacles that stop over 90% of traders. All right, Hugh, sounds good. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, Walter, uh, this is a big time of change, obviously. You know, this last year and this coming year is going to be probably even more change. So um, what can people do to kind of weather the change and kind of roll with the punches and even benefit from the situation? I'll tell you one thing I've learned. I think people sometimes confuse fear as, you know, they, they, they give it like a negative. So like, for example, if I grow up in a country like Australia, where predominantly, you know, all the, and I noticed this when I came to Australia, that like all the people, when you get off the plane at the airport, like everyone looks like they're, they're all from England. You know, they're all these white faces. And that was so different to me growing up in the United States, in, in particular in California, where, you know, I had black friends, Mexican friends, you know what I mean? Like I had friends from Taiwan, was a good friend growing up. Lots of friends from Mexico, of course. I had friends from uh, Japan. I had friends, you know, like from, you know, everywhere, you know, Guatemala. I had a really good friend from Guatemala in uh, college. And so, yeah, you know, it was like if I took someone out of Australia and dropped them off in the middle of like Angola, where they're going to stick out, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that can be scary. But why? Why are you scared? Do you like like if I just pluck someone out of you know Sydney Airport and I said okay we're going to Angola and I dropped them off in Angola and they're like whoa whoa you know they would probably be, be fearful but why they don't probably know anything about Angola they didn't even maybe they didn't even know it was a country you know, heard, never heard the name mm -hmm. but yet here they are and they look different and they're fearful and I think that's really what gets at the core of fear is the unknown, mm -hmm. right? So we don't know about something and we have to confront it. So what do we do? And so I think fear in a way is like a sign that you're in a spot, you're in a place where it's very exciting. Like it's, it's exciting. Think about it. Most of our lives, what we do is so normalized and so, you know, you get on the bus at the same time or you get in your car at the same time, you go to work at the same time, you go to the same cafe, you know, you have lunch with the same people or what, you know what I mean? Like so much of it. And I know like, it's not always the case for everyone. Like you might have a meeting over here or a meeting over there. You might have a business trip or whatever. But the point is, most of what we do is just so normal. So when you're fearful, to me, that's like a sign that you're alive and that the unknown is there. And that should be exciting. So really, I think we misinterpret excitement over the unknown as fear. Hey there, I hope you're finding this episode useful. I just wanted to let you know that Walter and I give away something valuable every month that helps traders improve their skills. You can enter to win by simply leaving an iTunes review and leaving a comment on our YouTube videos. At the end of each month, we'll look at the comments and reviews from the month and we'll pick a winner at random. Each comment and each review counts for one entry during the month that it's submitted. So if you're interested in that, be sure to enter after this podcast is over. All right, back to the episode. Because we don't know what's going to happen. We like it when we know what's going to happen. We know what, what, is, what is likely to happen. So I, I, I've, I've learned, and I think this really applies to trading. In fact, one of the things, FX Street was asking me about this like a couple of years ago. What do you, you know, like, I think it was New Year's resolutions and they asked a bunch of, you know, people on there. And I said, because I do webinars there, like I just do once a month now. But, mm -hmm. and they said, what, you know, what are you working on in the new year? And I said, I really wanted to work on this idea of fear and of embracing the unknown because mm -hmm. that's what we do as traders, right? You and I, we risk our money. We put it down and we say, I don't know what's going to happen here, but I believe enough in my data, in my testing, have enough confidence behind it that I'm going to risk my money because I think there's a good chance that X is going to happen and mm -hmm. X is good for me, right? Yeah. And so I think fear, you can, you can kind of twist it in your head and look at it, flip it around, look at it as an excitement for what's to come, the unknown that's to come. And that's, that can be another opportunity to learn something. That could be another opportunity to see something about yourself that you hadn't seen, like a, a facet of yourself, whatever. So I, that's why I think we should sort of reorganize how we view fear as something exciting, not as something so problematic or you know, dark or you know, negative. Yeah. but rather 
interpret it as something, it, it's really kind of excitement. You know, it's excitement that we're interpreting in a negative way. Mm-hmm. What, what, are, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think that in reality, there aren't too many things that can really harm you. You know, I think, yeah, it's just an opportunity to grow. And I think, even, especially in this environment, there's a lot of opportunities to make money, you know, in trading or whatever you're going to do. And um, I think if you, yeah, just calm down and just objectively see the situation and say, okay, this is going to go away, but then maybe this is going to come up and that's an opportunity and this is an opportunity to do this, then I think it becomes much more interesting and a lot less scary. Yeah. And that's why, you know, I think the downside is you can get addicted to that, like base yeah. jumpers yeah, yeah, or, you know, NFL football players love, you know, running into people or what, you know what I mean? Like there, there are a lot of uh, big wave surfers. Like there, there are ways where I think where you can kind of take it to the extreme mm-hmm. gamblers also. Yeah. Right. So that's mm-hmm. important for traders to recognize that a certain proportion of traders are actually gamblers. And I would say Jeffy, Jesse Liv- Livermore uh, would fit into that category. You guys can look him up. We can put it in the show notes. Mm-hmm. You can look up the reminiscences of a, of a stock operator, which is a biography of, of Jesse Livermore. But yeah, so it is tricky. You know, there's that balance of embracing fear versus getting addicted to that feeling of overcoming the long odds of jumping off a building yeah. with just a squirrel suit and a parachute <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> so that's so a bit tricky, certainly. Yeah. 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 It definitely got to know the odds or whatever, right? And your own skill level. But uh... that's right. And that's, that's where exactly that's where simulator, uh, the simulator comes in mm-hmm. for traders, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. All right. Cool. Thanks, Walter. Thanks. All information in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and is not trading or investment advice.